This world is but canvas to our imaginations. Good morning, everybody. That is a quote by Henry David Thoreau. And it wasn't the quote, and it wasn't the way I expected to begin this show today, but it is the way that we have done so. Sometimes in life, you just have to step back and regroup. You know, take time to regroup, restore, rebuild, whatever you want to call it, you know exactly what I mean. And today we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I apologize in advance because in today's show, I'm going to be all over the place in this 111th episode of the All Around Growth podcast. This show gives you insight and tools to build the life and homestead of your dreams. My name is Rob Kaiser and I am your host. And the title of today's show is Regroup. So why, you know, what 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 prompted this? I originally sat down to write some show notes to do a show today about permaculture. And that came to mind for a number of reasons. And and I just I think well first of all I'm interested in permaculture. I am an enthusiast if you want to go so far as to say that. Permaculture during the time now permaculture has been on my radar for almost 10 years. I think I first discovered the word or first heard of the word in 2012. And it also seems to be a really divisive topic. And it, it is something that so many people have turned political as well. I mean, I've actually lost friendships because of the ideology that I have. I've lost friendships from people that I met through permaculture. And we could be, you know, engaging in relationships in the most symbiotic manner, lifting each other up. But no, because I have a different viewpoint and perspective on certain matters, they actively walked away from my life and made a point to excommunicate me from their circles along with other friends of mine who share similar perspectives that I have. And for a while after this happened, I found myself questioning this or these concepts of permaculture and wondering if just wondering a lot of things actually but that's not what we're going to dive into today uh, because as I began typing the show notes on my desktop computer where I usually work in the mornings I lost power so at the very least I wanted to provide a brief snapshot to the best of my abilities, outlining and detailing out what permaculture is, because we will talk a little bit more about that as the show goes on, but not in depth in the way that I had anticipated doing so. Now, for those who are not as familiar with permaculture, 
Uh, permaculture is a design science that is based on ethics and something called the Prime Directive. Okay, so first of all, despite what you may hear from other people, other places, permaculture is a design science. Period. It is based on ethics, three of them. They are as follows. Earth care, people care, and the wildly debated third ethic, which is outlined in the Permaculture Designer's Manual as return of surplus or the redistribution of surplus, and it's worth reading the text itself because that very clearly explains what it is, but this has been bastardized by all sorts of people who choose to politicize the concepts of permaculture in order to force them to dovetail into their own ideologies, which is strange, but again, we're not going to go there. And ultimately, the prime directive of permaculture is a simple quote by a man named Bill Mollison, who founded permaculture along with one of his students. And the prime directive reads as follows. The only ethical decision is to take responsibility for our own existence and that of our children. So as far as I'm concerned, with permaculture being a design science that's based on ethics and the prime directive, I am a fan of permaculture. I will continue implementing it in my life in the most appropriate way possible for the context of my life. And that's it. Now, like I said, as I began assembling notes on permaculture and looking through my notes, I lost power and I, I didn't, I'll have to troubleshoot this later because I looked at the circuit breaker, I didn't see anything that had popped. So rather than, I have limited time in the mornings, I try and do other work as well in addition to the compilation of the show notes for this 20-minute podcast. But I just pulled out my laptop, and as I was doing so and walking to the circuit breaker, you know, I thought to myself, oh, cripes, I'm going to have to regroup and, you know, I wasn't able to access the, the notes that I wanted to access on permaculture. And I thought, oh, I'll just have to regroup. And I, so I, the topic of the show became regroup. And through my laptop, I pulled up my old website, uh, Deliberate Living Systems, which is the name of my business that I created and founded seven years ago, 2014. And when I went through burnout 2.0 in late 2016, stopped growing produce for the market and decided to focus on my life in my day job really I I'd like first of all I let that well okay I let that website go I let my business go the reality was I really wasn't doing a whole lot with it anyways I had created this business and spent a buttload of money 
on a website, in computers, and all sorts of crap, and other tools. I just was hemorrhaging money for a couple of years. And I realized that the path of financial debt, consumer debt, was not sustainable. And everything that I was doing, because in large part it was debt-based, was effectively the antithesis of permaculture and sustainability. It was the most unsustainable model for a business that I could actually wrap my head around. Now, there are people who are going to say, well, you got to spend money to make money. All right, I understand that. And if that's the way that you want to go about your life, constantly chasing your own tail, that's fine. You do you, man. I'm not going to sit around and tell people how to live their life because their life is their life. My life is my life. And there are people who have listened to this show that have strongly advised me to reconsider the way in which I do this. To strongly reconsider what it is that I share with you. And what I mean by that is there are some people who think that I share too much, I reveal too much, that when people listen to podcasts that they are expecting a certain style of show, a certain type of content framed in a certain way. And almost, you know, think like a coach or something. And and that was kind of what they were getting at is sometimes it comes across as though I'm searching and I'm seeking in the show. And for a lot of other people that are doing the same thing, that might not be the most beneficial thing for the audience to hear. And the audience ought to be able to listen to the podcast and identify how this show may be of benefit to them instead of talking about me and my life and how I'm trying to figure it out. And I listened to that opinion and I politely and respectfully disagreed because you do you, I'm going to do me. Now, since then, oh, look at that. As I'm driving to work, the, uh, the weather's changing and there's a bunch of geese out. Don't know what kind of geese they are. Uh, big old white geese not like a Toulouse goose or something. Um, But it's, it's, it sure is nice to see animals out and about. It sure is nice to see the sun rising earlier. It sure is nice to see the buds on the trees swelling. It sure is nice to see the seasonal change. But I digress and I've lost lost track of what I was talking about. Like I said, I was going to be all over the map today. But like I said, I went through burnout 2.0. I let the website go. I let my business go. I let everything go. And I began to focus on the big projects at work. I began to focus on my debt. The big projects at work have straightened themselves out in large part, as have my uh, finances. I've hustled, I've gotten out of debt, I have accomplished some of my future financial goals. I am actively working on baby step three and stacking cash. And it feels good. 
And I feel confident about that. And as my confidence builds and grows, it dawned on me that I wanted to rebuild and revisit the website and the business that I created and let go. I talked with a few people in some various groups that I'm involved with, one of which is called the Dreamers and Builders. It's a community formed on a book written by John Acuff called Start, How to Go from Average to Awesome. I would highly recommend reading that book, John Acuff, Start. And a few people had told me that the website was a lost cause, that I couldn't recover it. My, the designer at that time who helped me build it was no longer doing website work. And kind of apologized and said that there was very little they could do. So, one last ditch effort resulted in me reaching out to a small telegram group of tech people and I asked them if anybody had any experience with website design, hosting, and kind of explain the situation and a guy named Cass helped me out and he recovered it for me, everything. And in the process of doing so, we are also learning how to navigate the world of the alternate economy. And we will be working with each other for the services that we provide each other in alternative forms of currency. So I didn't even get to some of the things that I wanted to talk about today, which was a blog post that I had stumbled across in that website. But the quote that I began the show with was the world is but canvas to our imaginations is a quote from the very first blog post that I ever wrote and it showed a picture of the land where I now live before I built the high tunnel and before I did any work up there and now that landscape looks entirely different and I may not I may feel as though I do not have a real good or very clear idea on how I'm moving forward in my life. But as I look back to that first blog post that was written on March 1st of 2015, basically six years ago today, I realized that I've made some progress over the past six years, more progress than I give myself credit for. But at this point in time, it's also a good time to take time to regroup and restore and rebuild. If you find yourself feeling the need to do that, then do it. And I think for me, part of that regrouping, part of that restoration, and part of the rebuilding is what's taking place in this podcast. This helps me sort through 
where I'm at in this life. And while some people may not think that the manner in which I'm doing so and sharing it in this podcast makes the most sense, again, for whatever reason, I feel compelled to share the process with you so that maybe you can understand my thought patterns and what's going through my mind and the intent and the hope is that if you can gain some insight into where I'm at and what I'm doing it may be of benefit to you because maybe you too are looking to build the life and the homestead of your dreams. And the way in which you're going to do that is going to be different than the way in which I'm going to do that. But homesteads are homesteads, and life, well, my friends, is life. And the simple fact of the matter is that life is short, and quite frankly, we're all walking each other home. There's been so much in this life that's been freely given to me. And sometimes I feel like the best that I can do is do this and give back to you. And I hope that this show and every show is of value to you. The show and the way in which I do it may change as time goes on. I've already dabbled with the experiment of weekly versus daily. I've gotten feedback on that. And it may change again. I'm not entirely sure. But if you think that this show was valuable and you'd like to help in some way, shape, or form, just share it with a friend. Spread the word. Post it on social media, whatever. There are links to all of the episodes in the show notes. There are links to, well, I'll just post the one link to the very first blog post with that quote by Henry David Thoreau that reads, The world is but a canvas to our imaginations. Let your imagination run wild and build the life of your dreams. Build the homesteads of your dreams. Even if you have no land and your homestead simply consists of a van, that's fine. Because the way that this world works, sometimes I think planning A life just like that, where my homestead is in a van as well, may be the best approach because I don't know what the future has in store. And I am not ruling out any options and I'm trying to keep them all open as I go through this regrouping, rebuilding, and restoring. Anyways, if you like what you hear and you want to connect with other like-minded people, check out the Telegram group, t.me slash allaroundgrowth on your internet browser, or if you have the Telegram Messenger app on your phone, you can also find the group simply by searching for All Around Growth. Love to see you there. And if you don't want to reach out and connect with others, that's cool. I get it. Reach out to me anytime. You know how to do it. Or you can send me an email at allaroundgrowth at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And again, thank you for listening. I sincerely appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great day. and make it a great day for someone else. This is Rob Kaiser, and thank you.